Our story begins with a lady of deep-rooted evil who goes by the name of the Executrix. The book in which she was born is much better described as a tome of torment than a tome of divinity. As our tale of shadow versus light unfolds, let us ask ourselves this very question. Has Doomsday finally arrived for this dark lady who for many years lived only in the mind of her creator, but who for some reason, after receiving a mysterious package from the faraway lands of New Zealand, has come to life? She soon discovered that the package did not seem fit to be handled by a character such as herself from the underworld, although the parcel did hail from down under. Every time she attempted to pick it up, it would just burn her hands. She experienced a small ray of hope when her latex glove seemed to better withstand the heat. But to no avail. Its handling remained a challenge, an issue she had never experienced with her whip. At a loss of a better solution, seeing that she would never succeed in her attempts to command and conquer the package, she finally decided to reach out to her creator through a modern method of spiritual connection which sparked in the skies high above a celestial cataclysm. She explained to her light counterpart how she believed that the parcel was probably a rare artifact of some divine nature that was not meant for her, but rather for him, that UPS had most certainly made a mistake and delivered to the wrong hero. They agreed to meet at Memorial Graham, the home of another type of content creator, who for the past six months had been trying to convince his YouTube followers that the card game Flesh and Blood was for real and here to live on. Fabulous, replied the Executrix. I can meet you there on Tuesday at 2, and maybe you can reveal to the world exactly what the package contains. However, dear listeners, it remains to be seen if this kind of goodwill on her part will be enough to pay for the blood debt she sustains and by the same token, save her soul. Without any further ado, our hero from the heavens rode his modest mechanologist vehicle to the meeting point and soon arrived in an attire so jamishly white that it almost felt like a ghostly visit. He waited and waited for the dark lady to show up, but she was nowhere to be seen. He knew right then and there that this was the kind of vexing malice she was capable of. Then suddenly, out of the corner of his eye, he noticed the approach of a huge vehicle certainly not as modest as his own. The large character drawings and inscriptions all around the motor coach left no doubt. After being stored away during the coldest months of the Canadian winter, the Executrix tour bus was back on the road. And as unusual as it seemed, she was the one driving it. Granted, she didn't have much choice. With all of her loyal subjects quarantined because of a horrific virus who took its name from Mexican beer, there was not a single soul to be harvested. So when she finally made her way down the stairs with a briefcase in hand, the angel breathed a sigh of relief. What had initially been meant for his eyes only would in a matter of minutes be revealed to the world. The lady advanced towards him with the opened briefcase in arms and motioned him to go right ahead and grab the large envelope in the hope that transferring possession would rid her once and for all of this soul shackle. Envelope finally in hand, our light hero sat at his wine tasting table and proceeded to immediately tear up the seal. No need to pull out his hatchet of mind to accomplish the job. He was surprised to find inside, as a gift from the senders, a playmat, featuring none other than his fiercest cousin, eager to express lightning. As he continued digging into the piercing shadow of the package, he thought he might find a talisman of dousing,
but instead he pulled out a smaller black envelope. With the impenetrable belief that he was seconds away from revealing to the world the treasure from New Zealand, he stumbled across a superbly written note from the creator of the magical game. It read, Fabulous, when war darkens the horizon and all hope seems lost, rejuvenate your soul with the blessings of the light. Let your courage and devotion illuminate the path to victory. James White Enough with this shadow puppetry and the seeds of agony that previews from all over the world these 10 days have bestowed upon us. Time to rise above and touch the light that we have all been longing for. As he scrambled through the last instance of his quest to finally show you what you came to see on the fabulous channel, he felt like a frontline scout upon whom rested the grand reveal of Halo of Illumination. The card, a light equipment for the head, turned out to be an instant, where paying one and destroying Halo of Illumination allowed its owner to put a card from their hand into their hero's soul, or in other words, put the card under their hero card. If it's a light card, then one gets to draw a card. As a second mechanic, our Halo of Illumination has Spell Void 2, meaning that if your hero were to receive arcane damage, Halo of Illumination could be destroyed instead in order to prevent two arcane damage that source would deal. The accompanying text reads, Scholars of the Light of Saul possess a keen intellect and wealth of knowledge at their fingertips, cultivated by years of careful study. Guiding all citizens of Solana along the path of light, they are well versed in the enrichment of the soul, using their wisdom to provide for all those in the Golden City and beyond. Don the halo of illumination and empower yourself with the blessing of Saul. Ah, our light hero now felt like a monarch, honored to have been the one chosen to divulge this fabulous card to the world. There was no doubt in his mind that without any hesitation, all the viewers would scramble to share this video presentation with everyone they knew, for this would allow an even greater audience the opportunity to discover the trading card game Flesh and Blood. Meanwhile, he hoped that his new acquaintances at Legend Story Studios would just sit back, relax, and enjoy for 10 minutes the fruit of their latest creation. And so hereby ends Warmonger's recital, the modest preview show that Halo of Illumination was meant to unleash. Well, there you have it, fabulous friends, Halo of Illumination. I hope you will enjoy this card as uh, we will actually frame that and it will be a big uh, a souvenir for us. So we'd like to, by the way, thank uh, Legend Story Studios for giving us the opportunity to present this card. And also, let's not forget... Yeah, let's not forget the artist, uh, Sam Yang, who actually did the artwork on this card. It is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So thank you, Sam. And uh, thank you to everybody at Legend Story Studios. Yeah, all right. Well, we hope you had as much fun as we did. And uh, basically, we hope maybe, you never know, there may be some artists among you guys. Maybe we'll inspire, or maybe more Josie, we'll inspire a, a, a playmat or maybe even a card. I mean, we do have the data doll. So how about now we have a different kind of doll? No? <laughs> all right. Enough for today. Yeah, Thank you very much for watching. remember, we're amateurs, right? <laughs> <laughs> but we had fun doing this. <laughs> See you soon. Take care and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.